Hi everyone, it's Roger and APF from DizKingdom.com and in this episode we are going to be discussing the brand new um, LEGO Avengers uh, trailer that just broke this last week. I'll um, we'll just bring up the details. Did you get a look at this one, Abe? The trailer I have not. I did read details though, so I'm going to be as surprised as everybody when they first see this trailer. <laughs> so here we go. So we've got the um, LEGO Avengers um, trailer. So it's basically kick off with the um, basic information. So we'll just play that on there. So that one's on our YouTube account. And here we go. So, ooh. Peggy seven. <laughs> ooh, that's loud. <laughs> I can't hear anything on my end, so you're good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So we've... Google Chrome is advertising, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what were your impressions when you see this? Did you kind of did this kind of scream like the first Avengers to you more than anything? Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's what yeah. I figured too. Yeah, there's a little thing at the end that you see. <laughs> I love how goofy Lego games are. It's so awesome. <laughs> Ooh, Ultron. 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 Ah, ah. Yeah, so that was, um, so that is the trailer. I thought I'd just show that on there off. Um, so th that, to me, I mean, it sort of starts off very kind of avenger -y kind of um showing off the main characters from the original movie, recreating some of those classic scenes, like the, the, the spin around cameras bit where they're all in it, you know, and then obviously you've got the hope taking out that huge monster. And then I had a little bit of fun to it with the, with the selfie with it. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was cool. And then at the end, you get that little snippet of Ultron, which to me is kind of like a nice tease that they, they are doing the um, age of Ultron stuff as well because this was like you said very very sort of centric to the very first game yeah i i i think it's going to just give us a taste uh, only reason why i say this i think because of a whole like the way the licensing game is going for disney now i feel like they're going to have first taste with anything kind of like they had you know disney Infinity 2.0 was all you know marvel and stuff i feel like this coming out later on um it might be very focused on the first one and maybe have a little taste of of ultron mm -hmm. but I mean, we don't know what Marvel's going to be like in Disney Infinity, so it could be all Ultron, and maybe this one might not have much. But who knows? Regardless of the fact, um, it's a Lego game. It's awesome. Um, I am happy to the fact that I don't have to buy <laughs> an actual bricks to build to play it, like Dimensions is saying, even though Dimensions is cool. But uh, no, it looks awesome. Just like the first uh, Marvel Super Heroes game, this has a nice vibe to it. It's Marvel. It's Lego. Who who wouldn't love it? So yeah, I mean, I think as well that you've got this thing with the Lego game where um, yeah, I've gone through and I've got I've got the PS4 and the Vita version of the um, Lego Super Heroes game, uh, and you know one of the quick things I think that some people might have thought of was in that game you had so many characters you could control. Where in this one you can only see the original Avengers. So I don't know if there's gonna be a less um, characters that you can play, but we just don't know at the minute. It literally is just a trailer. Um, you know, there was hundreds of characters you could play in the um, Legos, uh, Marvel superheroes one. So, will this be maybe a little less characters to play? To me, as long as you can swap them nice and easily, because you could only control so many at once in the last game. I'm really excited about this. This is on my um, to buy list. I will be picking this game up when it comes out and doing like let's play videos and stuff on it because I just like I like I really enjoyed the first game, and so I'm really excited about this one. And as you said, it doesn't include little toys. It's literally one purchase and you're done. Um, so it's going to be very different to Lego Dimensions, and also it's going to be out. Ex around the same time as Lego Dimensions. So it yeah. maybe gets around the licensing agreements with um, sort of, because Lego have the rights to do things like Star Wars and Marvel. This is their way of getting around to still be able to do it without jumping into Dimensions. Right. No, I agree. It's definitely smart for them to release it near at the same time. Um, and like you said, it's also on my to buy list. I think it's one of four games that, that I want to buy this year. Um, so that's, 
that says a lot about this game. I mean, mm. first off, the, one of the things that I've, I've loved about Lego and that I don't feel like they've done wrong, done anything wrong with is their video game department. I mean, their video games mm. department are entertaining. I mean, they're they're like loyal to the the actual story and the and the characters, but they had like this comedic twist to it, which yeah. I really love about it. So. I th- I think that is one thing that is um, really sort of different about it. And I'm just going to bring up a little bit of information because there are some pre-order bonuses coming up in the U.S. for these. I'm just going to bring it up. Uh, um, and you get a free minifigure of... Um, I'm just doing at this here. So, yeah, um, pre-order bonus is going to be this figure, sort of an Iron... I think it's is it Iron Legion. This is a Silver Centurion Iron Man minifigure. Um, he's going to be these, and that'll be an, an actual figure. So that's always a good thing. So if you are going to be um, ordering it, um, you might want to just ha- um, check to see what pre-orders are around. You know, if you can get a free mini figure with it. Um, generally, Lego games are pretty normally pretty good, good price. I know, like Jurassic World is out this month, and there's been some good offers and different um, versions of that around. But. Um- yeah, carry on. Oh, well, I was going to say, did they announce where exactly that minifigure would be the pre-order bonus? Like, is it a specific retailer? Uh, oh, let me just have a look here. Just so everybody knows. Yeah. Oh, and um, myself. <laughs> no, uh, no, it hasn't actually been. Um, it's, okay. it's just details. Game, GameStop. Oh, I was just there. I should have done that. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's 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 pretty cool. I mean, I think it's just in general, they're a cool little thing to get the little minifigures. But generally, I think, you know, the Lego game, it's kind of going to be probably the second um, Marvel video game on consoles for the year. And I think as a standalone unit, it will stand up quite well. Um, and again, it does look like there's very much pushing the central um, Avengers in it rather than um, all the other characters. There are so many playable characters, so it'll be interesting. But then, you know, the Avengers have got a large back catalogue of characters, but I do, it does look like... They are pushing in all the videos and pictures we've seen so far, just the the main ones we've seen in the movie recently. Yeah. No, I mean, either way, regardless whether if it's Avengers One or Avengers, you know, Two with the uh, Age of Ultron, they're still awesome movies, and the Avengers are amazing. I mean, mm. uh, I'm excited to get to, to play this. It's it's yeah. going to be like I, I said, one of the, the the top four games I want this. Yeah, year, so. I mean, also, I mean, in the in the last game when Hulk, you know, when he went from Bruce Banner and he hulked up, you know, he's such a fun yeah. character to play. And I know you've actually even got the Lego action figure or the Lego figure for Hulk. Um, but yeah, he's he's here actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and also, I mean, hopefully at E3 you'll be able to kind of um, pick actually get to play the game yeah that's actually my plan it's actually on my to-do list um trying to get uh certain interviews and stuff scheduled um obviously infinity is going to be my priority but i i definitely have battlefront on there i definitely have yes. the lego dimensions and of course obviously avengers um mm. but no. no no there's there's definitely a lot of uh, a lot of stuff i want to cover and this is definitely one of those games. Mm, yeah that, that, that's pretty cool anyway guys we'd love to know what you guys think of the lego game are you going to be picking it up are you going are you excited about it comment below and also just want to give a very quick shout out to um two of our new um patreon um sort of that have recently signed up and um, we have um ethan and james um ethan um run sort of apps and also magic band collector and those guys have been really great and sort of supporting us and sort of james is also known as the infinity museum and yeah you know those guys you know that are really going to be helping us in the future with um patreon which you can find at patreon.com forward slash this kingdom okay anything you want to add on lego before we close off that one oh legos are awesome go ahead check out this <laughs> game and also thank you to the patreons we totally appreciate your help Okay. Cheers, guys. Laters. Laters. Later.